I don't have a fear of needles, but I do get lightheaded and woozy when I get a needle procedure such as a vaccine or a blood test. What's going on? What you are describing here has to do with a sudden drop in blood pressure. That sudden drop is called a vasovagal response, which is usually associated with fainting. And when fainting is linked to a specific trigger, like needles or the sight of blood, for example, it's called vasovagal syncope. But you might not fully lose consciousness in this situation. You might get really dizzy and nauseous and sweaty. No matter where you are on that spectrum, it's no fun. So let's talk about what you can do about it. You made an important point about how that response relates to fear. Studies have shown that fainting is more common in people who do have needle fear, but not everyone who has that vasovagal response is afraid of needles. And not everyone who is afraid of needles is at risk of fainting. For people like you who do not have a needle fear, let's focus on what's happening physically. As I said, the wooziness is linked to a sudden drop in blood pressure. Now that drop is really noticeable, like it really packs a punch if you're standing or even sitting upright. So first things first, if you're feeling faint, lying down while you're getting a needle can make a big difference. This isn't a broad recommendation. If you're not someone prone to fainting or wooziness with needles, then it's better for you to sit up for your vaccination. But studies have shown that lying down can help relieve the dizziness and lightheadedness that goes with that vasovagal response. And this is an accommodation that you can request whether you're getting your COVID-19 vaccine, your flu shot, or something else. A lot of vaccine clinics have special booths for exactly this type of accommodation. They might have gym mats on the floor or an examination table that will allow you to lie down while you get vaccinated, which really does help. Healthcare staff might even ask if you have ever felt faint with needles in the past, so that's the perfect opportunity to make your request. But don't be shy about asking for this accommodation at a clinic, pharmacy, or your doctor's office, even if you aren't asked about fainting up front. Lying down is a good option, but we have more. Let's talk about counteracting that drop in blood pressure. This is where a muscle tension technique can come in handy. What you want to do is clench your stomach and leg muscles and arm muscles and squeeze for about 15 seconds. Then release the tension, but don't fully relax for about 20 seconds, and then repeat. The effect of clenching is that it increases your blood pressure, which helps prevent the vasovagal response from dropping your pressure to such a low point. Preventing your blood pressure from reaching that low point helps prevent fainting. You can start this tension release cycle right before the procedure, and you can continue to use it until the needle is over or until any feeling of faintness passes. Just don't tense up the muscle that's going to receive the injection. And by the way, this technique is great for adults, but it's also safe for kids as young as seven years old to try. 